Good afternoon, I'm Lawrence Keller of Philadelphia, a member of uh, Vets for Peace, a uh, national organization, and uh, here today uh, to uh, commemorate uh, and uh, remember uh, the uh, thousands of people uh, killed uh, during the uh, bombing of uh, Japanese cities uh, so many years ago, to remind us of uh, the destruction uh, that uh, we humans have uh, in our hands and uh, to do it here in front of Lockheed Martin, which is the biggest weapons maker uh, in the world, uh, to which so much of our tax dollars go. So it's good to stand out here with my brothers and sisters uh, to uh, highlight this and uh, to do our little bit to uh, work for a more just and sociable world. Well, as Bob left the airplane, we took over uh, manual control, made an extremely steep turn to try and put as much distance between ourselves and the explosion as possible. After we uh, felt the uh, explosion hit the airplane, that is the concussion waves, uh, we knew that the bomb had exploded and everything was a success. So we turned around to take a look at it. The sight that greeted our eyes was quite uh, beyond what we had expected because we saw this cloud of boiling dust and debris below us with this tremendous mushroom on top. Uh, beneath that was hidden the ruins of the city of Hiroshima. This marks the 35th consecutive year that the Brandywine Peace Community has marked this day. First, a General Electric, and then at Martin Marietta. And for these past 15 years here at Lockheed Martin, We gather because this is where we must remember that most pivotal and directive act of war. We must remember the bombing, the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, where the reality of Hiroshima and Nagasaki today continues. And we also note, we stand here near a, an actual Mark 12A warhead. Some of you know the history of this. Some of you know that back in 1982, it was discovered, so to speak, and removed from a recycling area behind the General Electric plant a few miles from here where these Mark 12A nuclear warhead casings were produced. We thought it fitting to bring it out again today because, because Lockheed Martin just received a few months back the contract to build here in King of Prussia the ground support systems for the Mark 12As deployed on Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missiles. The 15 second radio warning tone went out. The bomb bay doors were opened. The radio tone ended. The bomb dropped. The army wires pulled out to start little boy's clocks. The first combat atomic bomb fell away from the plane then nose down. It was inscribed with autographs and messages, some of them obscene. Four tons lighter, the Enola Gay jumped. Tibbets dove away. Little boy exploded at 8.16.02 Hiroshima time, 23 seconds after it left the Enola Gay, 1,900 feet above the courtyard of Shima Hospital. 550 feet southeast of the T-shaped bridge with a yield equivalent to 12,500 12, tons of TNT. We declare peace. We affirm life. We will stop the violence and the strife. We declare peace. Faith some power. Bring the truth spoken.
I'm just like freezing cold. Did he drink a lot of water? I don't know. Bob? 